Operation surprise my boyfriend with an office makeover begins now. I think we need a shorter name for this. Operation office begins now. Elliot, if you're watching this, I'm sorry for deceiving you. There might not be enough on the roll for what I need. <laughs> I've never been more sneaky in my life. Welcome back to Making Home, the series where I make over, design, and renovate my house in order to feel like a home. And this is a very special episode because I get to make over my boyfriend Elliot's office and surprise him with the whole thing. He has absolutely no idea this is happening and he's actually going out of town in 10 days, at which point I will have precisely two days to make over the entire space before he returns. Hi. Hi. I'm in the studio today trying to figure out all the aspects of this makeover, wrap my head around the idea. And to be clear, I'm gonna keep the kitchen upstairs but I'm not ripping out the second kitchen, just in the hopes that we get to rent out upstairs again. It's gonna have to work as a kitchen and an office, but I do think there are some really smart decisions that I can make in order to make the whole thing a lot more cohesive than it currently is. So here's what I'm thinking for the space. I wanna paint the bottom half of the wall a color. I'm not sure which color yet. He has a whiteboard that he likes to use, but I wanna DIY him a new, more aesthetic whiteboard. And with that whiteboard, I wanna do a gallery wall moment. I think we need a big rug for the space to cozy it up a little bit. And I'm gonna get Rochelle to help me DIY a custom corner desk that's gonna be perfect for his computer setup. And because I care a lot about what his video call background looks like, I wanna do a curtain rod and curtains to frame the laundry nicely. And I think some of this cabinetry in the kitchen we can do as open shelving, maybe style some plants in there, make some dishes look nice. This way I'll add some depth and dimension and hopefully some more color to the space. Okay, that's the idea. Let's go make this a reality. So I'm here at the house and Elliot actually has a violin lesson tonight. So I've orchestrated Rochelle to come over and help me brainstorm this custom corner desk that I wanna make for him. This is like the one time slot where I know he won't be in his office. So we need to make this happen in the next little bit while he's out. Like while I hold this, should we try to put the monitor on here? <laughs> Can Maybe. You? Oh my god, sir. <laughs> Take your espresso cup downstairs. Elliot, if you're watching this, I'm sorry for deceiving you, but it was for your own good. And then for the desk, maybe we just do legs here, here, and then you probably want two at the back or one at the back. <sighs> I've never been more sneaky in my life. Now it's time to source everything for this makeover. I sent my parents to an antique store that's near them where I knew that they had beautiful vintage legs that would work perfectly for the desk. Let's do a bulby. Thank you. My parents delivered the vintage legs and I handed them off to Rochelle so that she could get started on the corner desk. I found some great vintage rug options on Etsy. And of course, lots of Facebook marketplacing and thrifting. Elliot leaves town in two days, which means I have two more days to pull things, source things, DIY things to get ready to do this actual makeover in the room. I did try thrifting curtains at the thrift store, but I wasn't finding anything that was working quite right. So I'm actually gonna head to the fabric store to get some fabric to sew my own curtains. What's new? I'm always making my own curtains. There might not be enough on the roll for what I need. I found more!
So basically the width of each bowl is how wide I want each curtain panel. So I'm just gonna give each side a nice hem. And then I'm gonna wait on doing the hem on the top and the bottom just because I wanna see the curtains hung up in the space before I hem them. I'm hanging out my curtains using these clip-on curtain rings. It's a really simple way to get a nice hanging pleat. I can't unsee corrugated cardboard. Not me noticing this is knockoff Le Corset. Tea. Elliot T. Elliot loves his Dutch oven and loves to keep it out, but it's a little bit of an eyesore because it's so dirty, so I need to clean it. While I let this paste do its magic, I'm gonna move on to upcycling a picture frame into an aesthetic whiteboard. First, I'm taking apart the frame and giving everything a good clean. Since I will be painting the frame, I'm just giving it a light sand before priming. To make the whiteboard part of the whiteboard, I'm painting on what will be the back side of the glass, my color of choice, aka whatever I found in the storage room. For a monochromatic look, I'm painting the frame the exact same color. Once it's all dry, I'm reassembling the picture frame and make sure you stay tuned to see this in action because it's gonna be amazing. Okay, so I'm just minding my own business and Rochelle brings in the beautiful desk that she's created. Excuse me? This masterpiece, the legs, the detail. Oh my goodness. Elliot is a lucky guy. Rochelle is actually doing a whole tutorial on how she made this corner desk in case you wanna tackle it or something like it. So if you wanna see how Rochelle made the desk, you can go check that out. But right now what's happening is that Rochelle is at the store picking up some more stain. We're just trying to figure out what color to do it right now. Well, that happens. I also just got a delivery, which I was so nervous wouldn't come in time. This is wallpaper that I'm gonna use inside of the cabinet because I'm going for an open cabinetry look. Let's unbox this wallpaper. I hope it's what I envisioned. This is clearly the little office setup so that I can see how everything is looking. And I think it's looking good. Okay, wallpaper. Okay, oh, wow. This is really nice quality. <laughs> I think this is good. It's like the right amount of greeny gray. Elliot's office chair is gray and I can't really change that. So we have to work within those bounds. Is this really peel and stick? Oh, wow. I really struggled with this wallpaper decision because you can't do something that's like too patterned because there's gonna be shelves and like things in front of it. And I didn't want the shelves to mess up like any repeating pattern or if there's anything that's like plaid. Anyways, I think it'll look good. I'm now a little unsure, but we will see when it all comes together. I think the only thing that's left to do now is load the car. Whew. Okay, this morning Elliot left for his trip, which means that it is officially makeover day. And I think we just need to get started. We need to clean out this office. Okay, the first thing we're gonna be doing is painting. And um, I already know you guys are gonna hate the color. I'm sorry, I just, I feel it in my heart that you will. Since I'm only gonna be painting the bottom half of the wall, I went in with the tape and wall color paint trick so I can get a crisp line. And then I'm also doing something potentially controversial here. I'm gonna be carrying the bottom half color through the bottom half of the window instead of incorporating the molding. Uh, 
I know what you're thinking. Another room that I'm painting brown, but two things. First of all, I know Elliot's gonna like this color over some of the other colors I was thinking. And second, I do have two makeovers planned that will have color. So if you guys can just hold out, subscribe, wait for that. Hopefully in the end you will like this color, but there will be colorful makeovers coming. I don't know if colorful is the right word. There will be makeovers incorporating a wall color soon. We're going for that like dark, moody, study on the bottom half. <laughs> I think it'll work out. Okay, so painting that took like the entire day, but I'm actually really liking it. And I think Elliot will really like it, and that's what matters. So I did create a schedule that I think I need to stick to in order to get this makeover done in the two days. And that means I need to get these curtains up to frame the laundry slash maybe hide it. We're gonna have to see how it works. What I have here is actually a blackout curtain, which means that it rounds like this at the edges. I just thought that this would be able to hide the laundry better. <laughs> Let's put it to the test though. Curtains actually ended up being a little heavy, so I hope this little rod can hold them. Damn, this really made the laundry look glamorous. They do need to be hemmed though, so I think that's my evening activity. Good morning. The curtains have been hemmed. I'm really happy with them. I was up till midnight, but it was worth it. And today's a huge day because we have to pull this face together. Elliot comes back tomorrow and this needs to be the best office, but still works as a kitchen, but doesn't feel too much like either. And they work well together and also forget about the laundry room. It just has to be the most perfect space for him and I'm excited to make it happen today. So. I think the first thing I wanna do is get the rug down because I think that's really gonna help pull things together. And we don't wanna have regrets, but um, that means I need to sweep first. And fun fact, I actually don't have a standing broom. I only have a uh, hand broom. So that's what I use when I broom my, when I broom my house, when I sweep my house. I guess I could use the vacuum now that I think about it. So I got this rug off of Etsy and it's literally the first thing I purchased for the space and it heavily influenced the wall colors. So I have so much anticipation right now to see it in the space. Ooh. Okay, it, I need a rug pad stat because this is just like a blanket on the ground. I love it. It looks good. Okay, now I think it's time for the star of the show. The desk, Rochelle's desk. Rochelle <laughs> is here. <laughs> Kelsey, this rug. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. Yeah. I love the color. Okay. So I purposely went just like a little darker on the walls mm -hmm. so that the desk kind of stood out because it's a little bit warmer tone and a little bit lighter. But I think that's okay, because I was gonna do the walls the same color as this, yeah. but I think this now lets it stand out. Yeah, and I love the color of the wall. It's yeah. so rich. It's like they wanna like break a piece of this off and eat it like it's dark chocolate. I was gonna do a whole bit, guys. I was gonna get chocolate yeah. and like kind of half melt it, so like when I was done painting, I'm just like, <laughs> just kidding, it's chocolate. It's literally called bittersweet chocolate, and that is a note for you if you like the color and also a note to Kelsey in the future when you need to touch this up or something. Also a note to the future, maybe homeowner or something. Bittersweet Chocolate by Benjamin Moore. <laughs> this is so professional. <laughs> oh. oh, she's so... 
And that's just the half of it, literally. Oh my god, guys, I was so nervous with the color because I was playing with so many browns. I was like, do I go warm? Do I go cool? Do I go lighter? Do I go darker? But I'm so happy with this. You can do multiple browns. I think it's okay. She beauty, she grace. It's so good, Rafi. <laughs> Yay, I'm so glad. Okay, well, I really wanna see the monitor and the whole setup on here because I also think that's gonna help me decide how the gallery wall is gonna be laid out, just where the monitor sits and everything. So, let's bring it in. Damn, this looks so profesh. <laughs> like, the desk makes all the clunky tech look yeah. good. You know what I mean? <laughs> Absolutely. Oh! Wow, wow, wow. So this wall is gonna be the gallery wall moment with the DIY whiteboard as well as some other frames I picked up and this wall planter that I thrifted forever ago that I just found in my garage. Also, thank goodness for junk mail because I really needed it to figure out the layout of this gallery wall. Oh, okay. I was like, how big of a nail is too big? It's too big. Is this a vibe though? This is the nicest nail I had though. <laughs> so one thing I know Elliot wants in this space are his plants. I personally think there's such a thing as too many pothos. I love a variety of plants, but he keeps propagating his pothos, but that's okay. We will give them all homes in here. And I even started bringing back in some plants just to see how everything's shaping up. I'm gonna do a shelf up in the corner here that a plant can rest on and drape down just because I think we need better spots for the plants other than just all sitting on the counter, including some in there. It's gonna be great. Over on the other side of the room, I wanna open up this cabinetry just so it isn't wall to wall cabinets and do some open shelving. I also really need to figure out a way to cover up the holes in the sides because that's taking it from open shelving to cupboards that you just took the doors off of. Oh. Ow. You okay? Yeah. Oh. What's happening? <laughs> I went down the wrong side of the step ladder. Are you okay? Uh-huh. Are you sure? Yeah, I think so. Hit my head on the wall. Do you want ice on the bed? Oof. Nah, I should just take a break. Okay, so today I learned step ladders aren't double sided. Could have been bad, but we're okay. Let's let's keep wallpapering. <laughs> Okay, so I'm actually going to use the white strips from the extra wallpaper over top of the shelf holes just so that we aren't looking at those. And now, it's time for final touches. To decorate the fridge and bring in more colors for my palette, I was inspired to make matches and matchbook magnets out of polymer clay. Hey guys, it's me. It's the evening. And just a quick conversation about Concussion Care 101 because I was having a headache and I felt tired for the rest of the day. So I ended up going to the walk-in and got checked out by the doctor and he wants me to monitor for a concussion. Just in case, Elliot knows that I fell off a stepladder and hit my head and I'm gonna be talking to him and a combination of my mom every two hours waking up which is just a standard when you're monitoring for uh, a concussion. And when I got home from the walk-in, Rochelle had the sweetest 
care package left for me. Thank you, Rochelle. You're the best. And she drove me and picked me up from the walk-in clinic. So subscribe for proper concussion care and subscribe for whatever the heck this video has been because I feel like I've been working on it for so long and we have some twists and turns, a potential concussion, followed by a surprise reveal to my boyfriend tomorrow. What is going on? Okay, I'm gonna go to bed for two hours at a time. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, he's coming. Hi. Hi. Okay, before you get settled, mm -hmm. I've been working on a surprise for you while you've been gone. Okay. Okay, it's upstairs. Can you close your eyes? Sure. Keep them closed. Keep your eyes closed. I can smell paint. You can smell paint? Okay, do you know where you're standing? Uh, I, I think it's the office. I, I can feel the counter, so. You're in the office, uh -huh. but you're actually in your new office. Does this mean I can look at you? Open your eyes. Holy <laughs> Wait, I can't swear. This is really cool. I love it. The desk is awesome. The plant's awesome. Oh, your plant babies. Yeah. Oh, I like this too, being open. Yeah, I thought it'd be better for your background. Yeah, you know? that's way better. Better? Much better. And look what this is! The whiteboard! It's way more aesthetic. It's stylish. Yeah. See your new desk. The desk is so cool. Right? Much better. Rochelle made that. No way, she made this? How did you manage to pull this off without me finding out before I left? Yeah, right? And I did wallpaper. Mm -hmm. This is where I fell and hit my head. Yeah. <laughs> Worth it. Worth a little concussion. Elliot is a little camera shy, but trust me, he really loved his office makeover. And if you want to see me do more brown makeovers, make sure you check out my water closet makeover and fireplace makeover. We'll see you next time. Bye. Cut to literally a year later, I am ready to inject some character into this space. I need you to know that I'm doing everything in my power not to paint the screen. I've never done any kind of like built-in cabinet like this before and I'm a little nervous. It's better than sitting around and stressing about it because literally I've been putting it off for way too long.